Hey folks, John P. with Geeky TV. I'm continuing the live coverage here at Cedia Expo. And you know, if I had my way, I'd have every gadget in the show installed in my walls. That probably would not make my wife very happy unless she met the folks from TrueFig. This episode of Geeky TV is brought to you by Netflix. Okay, so you know, when you get all of these home automation systems and other things installed in your walls, it's gonna end up looking like this. Is that so bad? Well, not really, not to me, because this is all I've ever known. But if you really inspect closely, you're gonna notice that although all of these components are white, they're all a little different shade of white. On top of that, they're all, you take one flat surface wall and you've got all these things sticking out of the wall. Well, guess what? The folks at TrueFig actually have designed systems that allow all of these components to be flush mounted. I mean, just look at the difference, for example, between this speaker, which sticks out beyond the surface, and this speaker, which is recessed into the surface. And everything's the same color, it's just beautiful, it's flush, it's magnificent. And if we take a look over here at this particular uh, demonstration wall, you're gonna see that we can start at the bottom here, We've got an electrical uh, outlet that's flush with the wall, looks nice, it matches. We've got uh, lighting control. We've actually got an iPad mounted into the wall, flush, speaker, and even HVAC. So you can make your air conditioning look just as beautiful as everything else. But you know what, we need to figure out how do they do that? You see Netflix pretty much everywhere on new TVs, on new boxes like the Roku, the BoxyBox, the Samsung Smart Hub. I mean, they are everywhere. Um, but if you are not using them, you are so missing out. I love, love, love my Netflix and I use it all the time on all the different devices. Uh, you can get a free trial by going to netflix.com slash geekbeat. It is a limited time offer, so go now and do it now. Netflix.com slash geekbeat. Hey, so I'm here with Rob, who's the GM at Truefig. Thanks for joining me today. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Thank you. So Rob, this stuff is amazing looking. You know, I walked into the booth and I had no preconceived notion that anything was wrong with the world until I saw your stuff. And then I realized just how bad everything else looks, you know? <laughs> well, when I come over here and I look at these things, I'm wondering how did you make it happen? What is going on with this stuff? Yeah, well, let me talk you through the process here. What we make is these all these mounting platforms. We actually make kits for other manufacturers' products. And just like you said, we hear a lot from architects and designers. It, one of the challenges was keeping the technology in the space and not having it compromise the design. So that coupled with the fact that it wasn't always that repeatable. People have been trying to do this for years, but it was one-off and it was hard to repeat and it was hard to, to budget and estimate what it was. So what we do is we take this mounting platform, and I'll kind of start with this one yeah, down yeah. here like it'd be a receptacle. So we actually do this entire platform, which is a really hard piece of gypsum panel, and the, the uh, drywall contractor would come up, butt up the edges, just like he would on any drywall seam or patch, tape and mud the edges, spread the mud across the platform. Eventually, the last coat goes up and over top this guy, which we call a sanding shield. Then he takes his pole sander out and pull, uh, sands it floor to ceiling. What it does is it breaks a little uh, connection here between these two. You pull the sanding shield out and it reveals this perfect, precise opening for the device to go into. So you're telling me that if, if I were installing this, I would take my sander and just go right, I just grind right over this bad boy because this is kind of a throwaway piece? That's right. Yeah, that, that's what protects it and that's what makes it you know, dummy proof, if you will. So they can come that same result every single time. And that way I don't have to come in later and kind of draw a line and try and cut it perfectly and it's just impossible, right? Exactly, Excellent. exactly. Excellent. So, so you've got different, this is, this is for like a electrical type socket or something like that and this, this is for what? Is this for HVAC? Yeah, this is for HVAC. So the process is the same, it's just a larger opening. So Just a bigger hole. That's it. Yeah, so it doesn't matter really what device is going in it, whether it's an iPad or HVAC, it works the same way. Excellent, excellent. Now why is this one, these are kind of flush, why is this one sticking out of the wall here? Yeah, really good question. So imagine if we were in a kitchen right now and we had a backsplash on there out of granite or some stone tile. Uh, what we would do is the 
process is the same. We have this mounting platform, so the electrician wires it beforehand, but then it changes a little bit because I got to get this box on the back of the wood or the stone or whatever's going on there. So this box actually removes from the front, will get attached to the back of the material by the installer, and uh, it telescopes in and out so it can go anywhere from a half an inch, say, up to an inch and a half of material. And then when they put the material back up, they put the stone back on there, this box will sit flush right onto the stone, wood, marble, whatever it is. Can you show me an example of how that works? Yeah, let's go over here. I'll show you one. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so it looks like we've got a demonstration over here. This is like marble or something. I don't know my rocks. What is this? Granite or yeah, something so like this that? Is, this is a piece of granite here, and this is a piece of zebra wood. Okay. And so we're showing really in any, any surface, whatever it is, we can cut a precision hole in it. So if it's granite over here, we have a water jet file that goes to the fabricator. They make a perfect opening in the, into the stone itself, and then the box attaches it to the back side. You know, I bet you on the video they may not even really be able to see very well. This is there's actually a little line here where there is something cut out. But how do you get these things out of here? Yeah, that's great. So what we're showing here is this is a receptacle. You can see the openings over here on this side. We have a blank plate because there's so many cases where you have to have receptacles for code, but you really don't need them. You don't want to see them. Mm -hmm. And so this is a great example right here. But if you did want to use it. We just use this suction cup. Nice. The plate comes off magnetically, nice. and then it's all accessible. Boy, I love the use of magnets here to uh, you know make that nice and easy to bring on and off. And by the way, these are really cool little suction cups. I mean, that's awesome. That is very, very unique, very cool stuff. Well, you know what? I bet all the uh, designers out there and all, I know the ladies for sure, definitely appreciate the hard work you guys are doing to make our kitchens, bathrooms, the rest of our homes look great. So good job with that. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Okay, guys, stay tuned for more coverage here at Cedia. I will be back soon with more. YouTube.com forward slash TV. Take care.